the Internal Audit Department. And Mark, if you can introduce yourself and your colleague and then make whatever presentation you'd like to make. I'm Mark Swan, the Metropolitan Auditor. And to my right is Carlos Holt, who's the Internal Audit Manager. He's been with me for over six years. And I've been here basically a little over six years. He came a few months afterwards. And we believe we make a good team together. And I appreciate the opportunity. The Office of Internal Audit, uh, is, is, uh, along with the Audit Committee, are an integral part of the governance and system of controls in Metropolitan Nashville. The Audit Committee receives the comprehensive annual financial report and all the uh, communications with our external auditors along with the management letter and the single audit reports and our external auditors cross and associates. Um, they also approve the internal audit work plan and provide oversight for the Office of Internal Audit. In the past year of measurement, we uh, produced 19 internal audit reports and eight investigation reports that were requested for our assistance. Um, in addition to that, we conducted 18 hotel property occupancy tax reviews. Um, so far, since we started this two years ago, we've completed about 41 hotel occupancy tax reviews, covering over $200 million in hotel revenue. Of that, uh, there were claims for underreporting of taxes of a little over $200,000 approximately 1.3%. Uh, so it's overall the compliance with the hotel occupancy tax by our hotel property owners is, you know, 95, 99 and a half, well, 99, 98%. So that's pretty good. What we're finding is that the bigger hotels that have bigger account, larger, more capable accounting finance staffs do a good job returning it. But there's another level down below that's uh, independent owners who do not necessarily have all the financial expertise that are, have some issues in complying with um, the returns. Not, um, in addition to that, we've, in the last six and a half years, we've uh, covered about 67 different entities uh, within our audit universe of approximately 90 entities, which consist of departments, funds, and pension plans, and component units. Um, and so, and that's been accomplished in the last six years. There's only two major departments that we haven't um, touched on, uh, which would be the juvenile court and the community education are about the only two areas we have not gone to as a department that has people mm -hmm. involved in it um, since I've been here. So I'm proud to have that coverage done. Like, we'd like to do more frequent. Doesn't mean we're not going to audit everything. Uh, that there are areas that we only look at once, like the police department we've been two or three times, um, schools two or three times, in the past in those areas. Um, and then in addition to that, we collected 433 financial disclosures from employees as part of your executive order. Um, and so those are the, the numbers that we accomplished. And none of this would be able to happen without the assistance of the department heads and the, uh, the management of the metropolitan government and most uh, greatly from the staff of the Internal Audit Department. I appreciate the work that they do each day. It's not always easy going to be the auditor, going to someone else's house and being a visitor for a long period of time. Um, and so, but they uh, always try to accommodate and try to work with whoever we're auditing. And I think we have a good relationship uh, built up throughout the metropolitan community. In addition, I'd like to thank the Audit Committee, which consists of Vice Mayor Diane Neighbors, Mr. Reebling, uh, Mr. Bob Branding, representing the Tennessee Society of CPAs, the Nashville chapter, and Mr. Brack Reed, representing the Chamber of Commerce, and then our two council members, J Jacobia Dowell and Council Member Steve Glover, who have served on their second term. They actually volunteered to sign another two-year term up for the Metropolitan Audit Committee. Their oversight and support for this function over the last six and a half years has been greatly appreciated. For the budget, the 3% cut for our department is $33,700. Um, we'll cut that from our management consulting budget and various other accounts. Probably the biggest chunk will come from the management consulting. When the biggest impact is that we propose to eliminate the Metro National Hotline. We're seeing the calls drop down from there. Um, and so we would, and our contract runs out in August, so we would just not renew uh, the hotline calls. Uh, we will reroute on our website to the state controllers web hotline and so there would still be access to a hotline um, but it would go to the state controllers office which would uh, which serves for any major fraud and all that but a lot of things we do get on the hotline are some sometimes our management issues that need to be addressed by person, different departments that gives another outlet that may be missing probably the biggest impact and sometimes those need to be addressed by the different departments we have one enhancement and that's for fifty five thousand dollars and that's part of the proposed um, move to the Parkway Towers, and that's our lease obligation for the Office of Internal Audit. If you got any questions, I'll be happy to answer.
Mm -hmm. um, your reductions and improvements seem reasonable. Um, of course, we were audited this year. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, and you did quite well. Uh, came out. Uh, <laughs> we were happy to go through it, and it was uh, it was painless. But uh, thank you for that. Um, I really don't. Greg, do you? No, but to your point earlier about outsourcing, I mean, that's their workload is mostly outsourced, I think, right? We have, not, well, we have well, this year definitely because um, the school audits is right, outsourced. Right. So, yes, a big chunk of what would be in our plan you know, going forward for the next few years is taken care of by the McCollum right. Jones and Lanier doing the audit of the Metropolitan National Public Schools. Right. So it will be a while until we need to go yeah. back there again. Right. So I do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much for stepping in early, too. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Tom.